Look, I'm just going to cut straight to it with this one. No fancy intro, no lists. Today, I'm talking about why I quit Rocket League. As many of you know, I was out in the hospital for almost eight weeks. And in response, I decided to completely step away from this game. This wasn't a break forever, but it was a temporary break. And now in this video, I want to answer all of the questions I've gotten since I've come back. So warning, this video is not going to be valuable in any way. If you want tips from me on how to get better at Rocket League, if you want to rank up faster, if you want tricks to improve, that's every other video on my channel. This video is not that. I hope I hope that by talking to you guys about what's been going on in my life, you'll still find some value, but I want to be very clear that this video is not a rank up video. So for the loyal ones who've been asking today, we're talking about how much I actually like playing the game. You know, the truth about what it's like to be a content creator, whether or not I'm going to be continuing coaching Rocket League. Spoiler, the answer is whether or not I'm going to continue playing Rocket League. So I'll have timestamps with all the questions that I'm going to be answering below. Click on what you're interested in, and here we go. Okay, question one. How much longer will these YouTube videos be coming out? I'll give you a short answer and long answer. Short answer is I'm planning to continue uploading for the next six to 12 months. Now, the reason for that is because, as you may know, I took off about 30 days month of june not really out of my own choice but because i had to with all the health things and i really just reevaluated how much longer i want to be doing this rocket league thing not from the standpoint of like oh this is painful you know woe is me i have to make videos for my nice air conditioned room but more so from the standpoint of like how much more can i actually help you guys like realistically if you go back to my channel i've uploaded weekly or multiple times per week for the last coming on three years maybe even closer to four and it's like in terms of what there is left to say about improvement that i haven't said yet there's not much there but it's not just that it's it's more so the fact that look i've, I've been playing this game for six years and i'm super grateful that i've been able to do this but it's hard to keep making videos without repeating myself i have no problem saying the same thing in different ways but at this point i've been kind of reteaching the same principles just trying to figure out how i can explain stuff better and show stuff better to you guys for the last like 12 months i'm gonna talk about how much i've actually been playing the game in a second here but spoiler i don't pick up the controller more than once or twice a week i just genuinely don't have time to play this game and so for that reason my plan is to keep pushing i'm gonna keep trying to find ways to better explain stuff and i want to leave as much impact on this game and in this community as i can in the next six to 12 months but it comes to a point where it's like what more do i personally have left to give you know kind of just want to make room for people to build on my content for other creators to step in and after another you know six to 12 month push i'm already feeling pretty fatigued i think after that i'm gonna really feel like i gave this game you know all, all that i had all that i could so long story short you can expect uploads from me for at least the next six months maybe the next year i'll keep you updated on that second question luke do you even still coach i don't know if you know this a lot of people are surprised when i tell them but I actually haven't been coaching one-on-one -on -one for the last six months, almost a year. You may know that I have a coaching program, but inside that coaching program that I started, there are actual coaches who are much better at the game than me, just objectively, higher rank, more accomplished, list goes on, and they do the coaching. Because this whole YouTube thing, while it might seem like I'm just getting on camera and just saying my piece and then clocking out, it takes a lot of time you know if i had to actually break down how i'm splitting up my hours when it comes to rocket league per week a year ago when i was at my max push i was you know working 70 80 hours a week and it was maybe 50 percent content 30 percent play the game 20 percent edit review business everything like that nowadays my time is like 70 percent make content 20% run the business, run the coaching program, and maybe like the last 10%, 5% even, I play or maybe coach. If I'm gonna make two videos a week, sometimes even three videos a week, I don't have time to actually play the game. Or put better, it's just not worth it for me to play the game. You don't watch my videos because I'm a pro player, because I'm, I'm great. If I spent all my time playing, sure, I could be another SSL, but what's that to you? What do you care? I've kind of decided that my time is better spent 
maintaining my skill, being all right at the game and trying to learn so that way I can get on camera and teach. That's the most important thing. And anytime I sit down to record, that's the reason that I think at least you watch, right? Why do you come back to my channel? It's not because I'm the best player in the world. It's not because I'm the funniest in the world. It might be because I'm the best looking in the Rocket League space, but most likely it's because I'm good enough and that allows me to teach the game in a way that's understandable for the average player. Look, I'm not trying to make you a pro player, although that'd be sick. I'm trying to take you from, you know, average to above average or maybe above average to top 1%, right? Top 0.1%. That's where I feel like I have experience and that's what I can actually speak to with confidence knowing it's going to help you. So point is, I actually can't really play the game if my goal is to keep producing content for you guys. And for that reason, I know I'm going to exhaust ideas or at least exhaust novel ideas for the average player. You know, I could keep teaching advanced stuff, but you know, most of you guys aren't advanced and that's okay, right? But it's just not the best fit for my channel. Question three, will you continue to coach? The answer is yes, you will be able to get coaching from people trained by me, but will I personally continue coaching? No. The reason for this is actually because three weeks ago now, I stepped down as head of the coaching program. To take you way back, three years ago, when I started making Rocket League videos, people hit me up and they wanted one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? So I started doing one-on-one -on -one coaching and after about six months of that, it went great. Once I had passed the point of like 10K subscribers, you know, my calendar was booked out for a week. If you're coaching somebody two, three times a week, you can only work with like 15, 20 people. So I booked out really fast. And that's why in March of 2021, after I booked out, I thought to myself, how could I help more people? How could we coach people in a way that isn't just one-on-one, -on -one, isn't capped, but is still, you know, better than YouTube. That is better than just a tier list where I'm kind of speaking to everybody on camera and, and in speaking to everybody, I kind of speak to nobody, right? Because everything's generic, everything's watered down. And that's when we came up with the idea of launching a coaching program, classroom style. We sold out on our first launch, which was insane. And that was the start of the Grand Champ Roadmap, which you may have used to hear me talk about on the channel. Now, things went great with the Grand Champ Roadmap. It ran for about two years. There were a lot of learning lessons. We definitely were chronically overbooked, chronically understaffed. And after about two years, I realized if I was gonna try to keep doing everything myself, of course I had people to help at the start and there were some really big players, but definitely not enough at every stage we were at. We were always understaffed. I realized if I was gonna keep trying to call the shots by myself, it wasn't fair to you guys who are buying coaching for 200 people to be relying on me who, is completely distracted having to make YouTube videos every week. And it wasn't fair to the people who worked for the company because everybody was just waiting on me to get back to them. And there's no way I could make YouTube videos and run the business. It took me a really long time to figure this out. But two, three weeks ago, we finally decided after my health scare, you know, kind of out of necessity, somebody had to take over, right? So kind of gave the reins to somebody who's been with the company for a long time, split some responsibility among a lot of other people. And point is, I stepped down. Since then, the program has completely been relaunched. It's really a new business. It's a new company that I'm not involved with. And you may have heard me start talking about it two weeks ago because I'm still endorsing it. And it's still based on the product I had launched two and a half years ago, but it's just way better. Like it's way better now than it's ever been. Now, since there's an actual team of over 15 people that actually run that business and make sure that people who sign up for coaching get great results, it's much better. And it's allowed me to focus on this last push for YouTube and do what I do best, right? Which is creating content and helping you guys get better so that hopefully one day, you know, you can work with us. And I do get a lot of questions about the Grand Champ Bootcamp and how that's modeled. I just want to be very transparent about how it works because I know there are a lot of questions and we haven't done a good job of being public about how it works. But to be clear, that bootcamp, it's 18 plus years old. It's 12 weeks long minimum to start working with us. And the reason that we do that is one, because legally to work with you for 12 weeks, we have to sign contracts and, you know, minors can't sign contracts, but also because the actual mission of the company is to help gamers level up, not just in Rocket League, but also in real life. And so it wouldn't really accomplish much for me to push if you're a kid who's watching my videos to buy my coach. That's not my goal here. My intention with this YouTube channel is, look, if you want to get better and you want to do it by yourself, this channel 
has all the free resources and more that you could ever want or need. Like if you want to reach SSL without ever spending a dime in Rocket League, that's what this channel is for. And you can absolutely do it. The place for the coaching program for people that sign up, it's for people who want to go the extra mile, who want to improve faster with less pain in a more enjoyable setting with guidance and accountability and a coach looking over them and community involved. That's who the program's for. It's not just for like the average person who just picked up Rocket League two weeks ago and wants to get better. It's for the person who's been grinding for like six months, has a real tangible goal with the game and wants to work with a team to make sure they get there. That's what the coaching program's for. Since we've rebranded two weeks ago, it's been insane. The demand is ridiculous. We were booked out at over 100 students. Now we're hiring more coaches and we're preparing to take over 200 students a month, that is, by the end of the year. And it's just been ridiculous. But the point is, the reason that's all happened is because my team has finally been able to take charge and take over and run the ship because I'm no longer holding them back and trying to just do everything myself, which was selfish and just wasn't fair to anybody. So for that reason, I've now acknowledged that, look, you know, with how many subscribers we have, with how many viewers we have, it's literally just impossible for me to do the coaching one-on-one -on -one or even promise to do the coaching to a few people or many, it's just unfair. And so in the end, the coaching program has improved because I stepped away. The content here is hopefully improving because I can actually focus on doing it now. And long-term, you know, for the one day, for, you know, in one year and two years, when I finally decide, hey, like even YouTube, I'm, I've kind of shared everything I have to share. I'll be able to step away and, you know, the coaching program will live on and that will hopefully be my legacy in Rocket League and also in other games. But more on that later. Okay, final section. Last question I want to answer is, Luke, are you going to stop playing Rocket League before you hit SSL? My answer to that is probably. Look, I'm currently at 3,200 hours. And to get to SSL, it will probably take me another 500 to 800 more. I'm pretty confident that if I actually played the game consistently, I could get to SSL if I got to 4,000 hours and I was playing, you know, more than once a week. My problem currently is I'm trying to march up a hill and the wind is blowing me down. Look, I'm 21 and a half years old, so my reaction time is only getting worse. I barely have any time to play Rocket League during the week because I need to create content. So I'm constantly cold and never getting into a groove. And on top of that, there's just no real benefit for me to get SSL. Now, besides to shut up the people who comment, Luke, you're not even SSL, what do you know? In reality, getting SSL doesn't really do anything for me. It doesn't help me teach you guys better. Like my goal is to teach the average player or maybe the above average player how to rank up in this game. And so the fact that I'm already top 0.1% and clearly by the clips you can see on screen, like I kind of know what I'm doing, right? I'm better than most players. If you put a thousand players in a room, right? On average, I would be the best one. Whether you like me or whether you like my style or not, I at least have authority to speak on how the average player can improve. I'm not out here coaching an RLCS team. I'm out here coaching plats and diamonds and champs and maybe grand champ once, right? <laughs> the only good that comes from that is silencing, you know, 12 year olds in the comments who wanna say I'm no good at the game because I'm not SSL. And while maybe that would make my ego feel good, I'm not gonna spend my short life doing things so that I can say I told you so to people in the YouTube comments. For that reason, I will continue to play enough to record content and to stream and that sort of thing. But unfortunately, I may end my career, my Rocket League journey below SSL. You know, it's not fun for me to say that, but it is what it is. And I think in the long run, I'll have a better impact on this game if I spend my time teaching than spend my time just mindlessly grinding the game. So summary, conclusion, too long didn't read, Luke don't care, what does this mean for me? Here's the takeaways. Number one, there will still be uploads on this channel for the next six to 12 months. Basically, I'll be doing one to two uploads a week, same style of content focused on teaching everything, dumping as much of my knowledge I, as I can before I finish this game for free to you guys. So that way it's living somewhere, it's out there. And even if I step down from Rocket League, you can still access it and new players can still get access to it. Number two, my coaching program. The coaching program will continue to be run because quite frankly, 
I'm no longer leading it. And in fact, if the last three weeks are any telling, it's going to be better and bigger than ever because there's a proper team running it now that isn't reliant on me. And so that's super exciting. If you're interested in coaching, well, the best time to get involved would have been two, three weeks ago. But the second best time to get involved is now because things are going up. And I mean this genuinely, like if you want to get better at Rocket League, I can now say confidently, there is absolutely no better place a player can go to improve at this game than the coaching program. And I launched the coaching program program two years ago. I no longer run it. So take my opinion with a grain of salt, but I believe it to be true. And my goal is other creators will start to say the same thing soon enough. Number three, when will I officially announce my retirement? I'll try to give you guys a heads up when my last couple of videos are going out. So if you want to be updated on that and what I'm actually doing in real life, best place to follow me is over on Instagram. It's just one word. It's spook Luke Graham. I post here whenever I'm streaming, but I also just post about my life. So if you want the most up-to-date announcements about when the last couple of videos are coming out, it'll be on Instagram. And lastly, where will I go after this? When I finish with Rocket League, my plan is to continue uploading YouTube videos. I will be posting on a second channel. I'm not going to announce what that channel is yet because for 99% of you, I don't think it's all that relevant. But if you want to keep in touch with me, follow me on Instagram because when I retire from Rocket League, I'll still keep uploading in a second place. But I've already probably said too much and we've only got a couple months left of the Rocket League content here. So I got to focus up and make sure that we make this a good one. So video's over. Thanks for watching guys. And I hope to make these next couple months uh, the best yet. See you soon.